there's this importance of movement and migration that um, I mean, I certainly feel it also as an immigrant to this country that maybe movement and migration gives this gives us a perspective on the on both sides of um, a border. But also there's this importance of um, grounding oneself, dropping roots, creating home. Yeah, by transporter uh, woman, like I mean that I grew up on the Mexican side of the border in, in a border town. And as I grew older, life kind of just took me here, you know? But then I have so many connections still on the other side of the border that those um, connections like have made me cross over and over not letting a border you know destroy those roots that are still part of me and also deciding to grow roots like elsewhere so it's more like if i can see myself having like two roots growing but still you know like the wind taking me yeah. without letting any wall no matter like how high or how thick like stop me when i first talked to you about growing quote-unquote weeds, um, plants that people consider unwanted, you immediately kind of understood the metaphor that was at play. And when you talk about like uh, finding hospitable ground, finding a place where you can set roots, I think of the seeds that are kind of completely oblivious to borders and are flying around and trying to find ground that will be hospitable. I just wondered what you feel about this, how you think about this category of weeds. Yeah, actually one of my good friends from Kikiriki Coyotas, <laughs> Sandra, um, you know, like through time, like has continued to brought up the fact of invasive plants mm -hmm. because we went to this workshop in Tecate and they talked about like invasive plants versus native plants. And I think she was the only one that really kind of like got stuck with that idea of, I can't believe they're calling them invasive because that like all of us, you know, like the three of us came from migrant families. And we were like, yeah. but I think like she's the one that has like, uh, actually like brought it up like time over time, like, yeah, like invasive plants like don't really exist or, or maybe like the concept, you know? Like as a farmer, you know, like I can tell you some like something like why we need to take all the weeds, but also just like seeing the symbolism and how all the species that we have now are interconnected somehow too and are also part of the planet. So invasive from where? <laughs> like, so I, I kind of like felt a special connection to the project. Yeah, and uh, when you, one sort of uh, question that you asked, you said, I would like to find a language that goes beyond the dichotomy of native and invasive. And I was like, wow, yeah, that's a really yeah. nice kind of way to summarize this um, problem of like how boundaries create certain ideas of what is wanted and unwanted.